hey guys welcome back to another youtube video this is mo crypto and today we're going to be talking about the latest ama that happened from forex shark on the crypto kings youtube channel so basically guys i went through the whole thing um there's not really a lot going on there's a few key moments in the ama that stood out to me a little bit more than anything else so uh essentially uh forex said that the fiat on ramp for the animal farm is 100 percent launching this thursday so i guess he came to conclusions uh, to, to concluding the terms with the bank that's going to supply the on ramp and he essentially was working on getting a better rate for everybody so that they won't have to pay crazy taxes and i'm thinking this is something that's very bullish for the animal farm holders now um from what we've seen in the demonstrations that forex has provided to us so far uh it looks like we're able go we're going to be able to get some afp some afd and i'm hoping for busd bnb as well on the on ramp so that's one thing so a lot of people have been asking are we going to be able to use it for drip and in some way yes you're going to be able to use it for drip but not directly what you're going to be doing is you're going to be buying your bnb on that on ramp through your credit card and then using that from your rabbi or your metamask to buy your drip on the drip network website but you're not going to be able to buy drip directly from this on ramp this is going to be something only for the animal farm and we've talked about this in the past it's something that i think because of the gatekeeping of drip as being a Ponzi because a lot of um, money needs to be injected and the referral system, the way it's it's done, a lot of people don't understand it. So it's labeled as a Ponzi. Um, it makes it harder for him to apply an on-ramp for drip so far. So I guess we're going to get that in the future. Uh, we just have to wait and see what happens. So that's one thing that's very important. The on-ramp is coming this Thursday. Now, a lot of other things were, were discussed. So he talked about the scratchy raise, which is hopefully coming in the month of June, let's say. He said May, June, you know, something like that. Uh, he talked about other raises. He talked about other games, you know, the usual game stuff. He talked about the mini DAO, which is something that a lot of people... I like I don't know like nobody talks about it. I mean nobody talks about the DAO, the mini DAO, uh, unless I'm missing something and people are talking about this on Telegram somewhere. But you know apparently it's something that's very very important for a lot of the people invested. So I mean good for them. I can't wait to see what it's all about. I'm probably not going to be investing in that. It's not something that I'm really passionate about. So I'm not going to be dabbling into it. And uh, you know ever since the Animal Farm launched and we've seen that decline, I'm more of a drip maxi more so than animal farm maxi uh in some way so yeah i'll stick to the drip uh network i'll stick to staking my coins in the animal farm just if i need to hold them but uh i'm not really going to partake in a lot of the animal farm staking protocol parts you know okay so that's one thing another thing that he mentioned uh towards the end regarding drip is that you know he feels a little bit discouraged that's one thing that stood out to me he feels discouraged when everybody talks about when drip when he's innovating and and dropping some things that are related to the animal farm and one thing i have to say to that is i understand where you're coming from forex but um when you're dealing with hundreds of thousands of people it doesn't really matter what you think you know like you, you it's like it's like you you're running your own business right now you know what i mean like you have a huge team you're running a business but you're running this business for a community like you might have not put yourself in that position but it just ended up being this way in my opinion and uh from from my experience when a a boss works on something that he deems revolutionary and innovative and creative and you know uh innovative i don't know if i said that word <laughs> uh it doesn't really matter if your community doesn't want it you know what i mean it could be like as i said this before the graphics and the way that the piggy plinko game is designed it looks really good but the way that is promoted it was not well done so really the community didn't care about it that much 
and the fact that there was more emphasis on it versus Triple D was not something that, uh, you know, made the community feel good and at ease with. Uh, one thing that I feel like... So one thing he did say in the AMA is... Uh, one, that he, one thing he did say is that he... You know, there, there's nothing more that he could have done different for Drip because he's doing it to the to the uh, to the extent that he could do. That's why he's working on more so on the animal farm stuff, and then he's happy that right now things are moving forward. So he's thinking maybe in a couple of weeks th things will come into place and we're going to be able to launch something for Drip, right? And and the focus is on Drip uh, after the next couple of weeks, you know. Um, one thing that I have to say to that is that, you know, um, it's completely fine. I mean, there, there could be nothing to do for drip. It's something completely fine. There could be nothing to do temporarily, but something to do in the future. But if s something like that would happen, then you need to communicate with your community. And there was a lot less communication to the community than um, what was expected because I mean obviously if there was more communication you would have less people complaining about what's happening so I mean I understand where he's coming from but also I mean there are some things that we could do a, a little bit different um, I don't know man I mean like if if for example Triple D was never thought of by the DAO if all these uh, community projects like the guardians of the reservoir like the hellhounds like brick by brick like droplet at some point when they were burning uh, drip tokens if those projects were not helping the price of drip i mean there really wouldn't have been anything for drip you know it would have just been something on the back burner and if it's not clearly discussed with the community that everybody's going to talk talk about it everybody's going to share their opinion and a lot of people that are getting in are expected to see some kind of price volatility but not a token that just consistently goes down in price and you know once we do get triple d that's another question that i get in my comments is what happens when triple d gets here so one of the things that i feel is going to happen with triple d is it's going to have uh, basically triple d is going to be a second layer to the faucet you're going to be able to either deposit in the first layer or you can deposit in the second layer right the second layer is going to tax you 25 percent and that's going to give you some tickets to be uh, able to potentially win like big prizes from the uh, to be airdropped to your faucet uh, and that's going to drive in a lot of a lot more capital into the ecosystem a lot more liquidity per se <coughs> so if that's going to happen what's going to happen to the rest of the ecosystem so in my opinion once triple t gets here hopefully it's going to be something that's going to bring price up right so the price right now is sitting at 30 cents i think yeah 30 cents so the price is going to go back up in value um, a lot of people have given estimations between one dollar to three dollars uh, if it does go as planned it might go to four dollars i don't know what's the likelihood of it just you know doing a 10x uh from here but what could happen is if that happens then automatically the LP price of the garden is going to go back up in value, right? So the garden right now, the LP price is somewhere around $2. Uh, I have to check back my values again. It's somewhere around $2. Uh, that's going to go back up in value because drip goes up in value. And everything attached to the drip token is going to go back up in value because just think about adding more liquidity to the ecosystem is going to help reinforce the floor and help push the price back up in some way. I mean, I might be explaining it wrong. Uh, I might not be clearly explaining how this works, but all I know is if there's going to be more people buying drip and depositing it in the drip faucet layer two drip drop draw, then a lot of price action is going to happen. Like a lot, a lot more buy pressure is going to happen, and that's going to cause the price of drip to go back up in value. You know that those are like really the most 
important things that were discussed, you know. Um, so he's hoping that in the next couple of weeks, something is going to come out for Drip. I don't know if, like, I'm, I'm still going to stick to my estimation of end of June, beginning of July, and we'll see what happens. Hopefully something will come out uh, within the month of May. Um, he said something uh, around this week, we're going to release the on-ramp. Next week, we're going to talk about the test net for Piggy Plinko, and he has multiple different ways to, to test it out. One for the public and one for the for the DAO members, I think. And uh, then he said there's going to be a lot more focus on Drip, and we ha he, he has our word. Uh, he said, you guys have my word. The next thing is going to be the next little while is going to be about drip so and then he's going to focus on all the other games and whatever like texas hold'em and you know a lot of other stuff right so um all in all this this ama was not like it was two hours but it didn't have a lot of very new information a very bullish information I like that Forex is still going out and talking to the community. Like it's something that uh, is needed and is something that needs to be consistent. And the more consistent he's going to do it, uh, the better it's going to be for everybody. You know, and every every now and then, if you sprinkle in a bit of drip information, it's going to be really, really good. Now, uh, before we end today's video, I just want to show you guys my gardens because I've been doing really well in the gardens and, uh, you know, I really like my position in the garden right now. So this is my OG garden. It's at 750 million. But guys, you remember I had like 500 million, I think, in the other garden the other day, like the new garden that I started under the drip marketing DAO. Now it's sitting at 923 million. So I'm almost at a billion plants over here and at 700 uh, million plants over there. So that's pretty cool. Like I'm almost like uh, 1.5 billion, I think, something like that. 1.6 billion. I mean, I feel really good. I feel like uh, I feel like I have a few acres of, of gardens here. So this generates me like almost a billion generates me around three dollars per day. Uh, if I manage to compound it carefully, then it's going to go back up in value. And if I dollar cost average my position well, um, and then this one generates me about like two dollars per day, I think, or two two and a half dollars per day it's not that bad but i mean i can hopefully like i'm i'm feeling more of a maxi for the garden right now i don't know what it is once i started my second garden it feels much more uh uh important for me to keep compounding my position and dollar cost averaging my position and i feel like what we're doing right now in this bear market is going to help us a lot come the bull market because once drip goes back up in value hopefully around drip top draw um this lp price is going to go back up in value if the drip b was the lp right now was around two dollars this might go up to three dollars let's say or four dollars i don't know depending depending well let's say two and a half three dollars depending on what the price of drip is going to end up being because it's an lp price the busd section or part of that lp is gonna you know weigh it down but uh, it's going to help everybody that's been building right now in the garden and i mean if you guys go on on twitter i mean shout out to my 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 uh the drip community on twitter some guys have like some oh, let's look at um uh, ny crypto some guys have some crazy gardens like out of control like billions of plants right so let's see um just like a quick 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 garden info um let's see he must have it here somewhere he posted about it recently his garden where is his garden um Why did I miss it? Oh well, I guess I, I, I don't have that picture with me, but he had something in the billions of plants, which was, you know, something beautiful to see. But I mean, some people have some crazy garden numbers, right? And at some point, these garden numbers are going to blow up in value. So I'm super happy for that. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys have any questions about the AMA, if you guys have any questions about, uh, you know, what to expect in the next few weeks, let me know. I mean, I think I covered like the most important things about, uh, about the AMA that happened yesterday. 
today. If you guys have any questions on any specific part of that AMA, let me know and I'll, I'll help uh, discuss that with you guys. Um, and if you guys have any other things, just leave it in the comment section below. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next video.